Hello, my beautiful earth signs. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, tuning into the channel to see what's going on with your current love situation. I truly appreciate you all. Earth signs, you got a lot of powerful changes happening for you. And um, I'm here to tell you all about it. <laughs> Welcome to the Real Love Tarot Show <laughs> with your host, Renee. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Spirit Holy Spirit. Please give me honest messages for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, let's get what's going on in your immediate energy at this time. <clears throat> the energy is within you, around you, for you. Give me my sister spirit. <clears throat> Emotions are running high. Balance spirituality and practicality. Nothing will come of this situation. Oh, yikes. And meditate and contemplate, okay? So some of you guys could be in that energy right now. Trying to figure out a situation, which direction it's going to take um, in a connection. I feel like it's multiple connections, too. And for some of you guys, it's not just related around love. It's people, places, and things. It's in your energy that could be bogging you down at this time. Let me go with the uh, energy oracle here to get more messages for you, Earth Signs. <clears throat> Let's see here. So someone is in your energy that's got either you or them, emotions running high, and you're you're trying to really balance things out. This could be with job, career, and your love lives. Um, take it how it resonates. <clears throat> For some of you guys, um addressing or uh the issue or dealing with it head on won't bring about change if the other party isn't willing to change okay yeah indecision yeah yep you don't know which way to go you don't know how to deal with the situation yeah um for some of you guys this could be dealing with your stability <clears throat> right um or your endeavors if you will some of you guys are working on different projects um Maybe maybe you're a bossy oh entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. What did I say? Entrepreneur child. <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was funny. Yeah. And you want to know uh, which way to go. Yeah. Some of you guys, it's regarding love. Uh angel of love. You could have a uh you don't know which who to choose. Oof. Or if you want to choose a specific person, earth signs, okay? Or if you do know you want to choose this person, you don't know how to go about doing it. Yeah, because it could be an energy of someone's heart is going to get broken, um, right? Um, and I think you're doing it, you're in this energy of studying, right? You're studying the person, um, trying to figure them out, or you could be dating, um, uh, multiple people at this time, 49 bust down to a 13 to a four. There it is. When it regards to your st uh, stability and there you are, man holding a coin could be dealing with the divine fat masculine. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so you, you're you like trying to choose between, for some of you guys, you're trying to choose between love and work. I'm getting here um, with these energies, yep. Oh boy, and I want to take all of them, yeah. Mm. Third chakra, Archangel Camiel is here. Welcome, Archangel. We always appreciate when you show up to the readings. Uh, seventy thirty seven seventy three bust down to a ten to a five. So something is changing, right? The magician and the mirror is something you're manifesting, but whatever it is that you're manifesting, you have an envious energies around you. All right, it could be um uh, due to, uh, the direction that you're already headed, um whether it's in love or with with regards to your finances. Um, your job, work situation, or just your overall being you, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. And one more door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah. So somebody sees you healing, going towards your happiness. Um, someone seeing you maybe a bit more happy. And that's making people very jealous and envious of you, uh, Earth Signs, okay? 
uh, be aware or be mindful of the energies um, that you entertain and keep around you at this time. Um, everyone is not here um, and to have your best interests, okay? Or they're not here for you. Um, you know, they could, you know, be, be mindful. Also be mindful of bleachers. Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me bust. Let's see what this 20 bust down to. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, not 20, 34. I mean, neither. No. <laughs> I'm looking at this Archangel uh, cameo. Let's see what he's talking about. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Let's see here. <clears throat> emotions of desire, life force, energy, okay? So, you see, you guys are wanting to go towards what you desire. Yeah, upright, the powerful archangel, uh, Cameo, is holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus, uh, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here uh, revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move uh, towards the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now. So go for it, okay? So yeah, so I'm also getting um the energy too that someone uh earth uh earth angels, yeah, that's y'all. <laughs> earth signs um could be in your energy that's bringing you some type of beautiful uh uh energy. Ooh. Secret lovers. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, secret lovers. All right? Um and this has got you uh, in a little pickle here, right? Uh, there could be a third party coming to chase after you. Uh, I'm going to take it how it resonates here. Okay, the moon. Yeah, you're trying to figure out, and for some of you guys, you have, yeah, it's, I feel like it is multiple energies. Three cups, okay? This is also somebody, uh, be someone that you want to come into celebration with, um, that you have secret feelings for. Um, you guys could be already in a love relationship with this person, or you will be. Yeah, King of Swords. With the Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. Ooh. Ooh. Judgment. Oh. Okay. Hangman. So, oof. Some of you guys are feeling stuck. Some of you are feeling very stuck. Ten of Wands. The devil. Mm. Some of you guys feel stuck in this like a, a bit of a heavy a burden because you got the page of cups here. Why is the page of cups here? Two of cups. Yeah. The chariot. You guys want real love and you don't want anything mundane. I feel like it's a heavy burden because you're in this negative mindset for some of you or you just or you're obsessing over um this new connection with the king of swords uh earth signs uh somebody who seems to be very powerful um very um authoritative <laughs> This could also you be you standing in your power as well. Yeah, Page of Wands. So you're going to have to break the news to somebody is what I'm getting here. Could be with a Sagittarius. Um, but somebody that you... It's like you... You're getting news as well that someone wants to bring in some peace and harmony into your life. But I feel like it's also something that you manifested. Like you manifested this new beginning and you manifested like an individual that will feel like home. And now I feel like it could have arrived. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. It could have arrived and now you're in your head about it. Mm. And now you're doing some deep soul searching, right? 
this is a this is a doozy. Um, for some of you guys, I feel the energy that there is multiple people there for you. And your energy, and you're having a hard just uh, you're having a hard time deciding which way to go. Yeah, ten of swords to the sun. For some of you guys, you're 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 healing from past traumas, past wounds. With the ten of swords being in the reverse, it's like you you're ready to heal and have uh and be happy, because whatever relationship you were in before. Um, it did cause you some deep, um, deep betrayal. This, yeah, really deep. Five of Cups. Left you with a lot of regret, a lot of um, feeling guilty about moving on from that connection. Um, yep, Three of Wands. Yeah, just like I said. Three of Wands. Yeah, from moving on to that connection into true happiness. But now you're here, Page of Swords. You got somebody spying on you as well, Earth Signs. It could be going, yeah. Somebody's going back and forth in their head too. Um, wanting to communicate with you. It's not just them going back and forth in their head. They're fighting themselves. Or you guys could have got communication um, from someone that you were fighting with. Are they ever some type of harsh communication came in or will be coming in because someone sees you moving on to a new connection? Yep. There's a world card on the bottom of the deck. You're setting out on a whole new journey. And they see, and since you're closing out, you're closing out a cycle, and you feel very guarded towards this person, right? This person wants to have the four of wands with you, either you or them. Yep, they do. <laughs> Nine of cups right behind it. Yep, they do. I, I'm damn. That's crazy. I can feel this energy before the I flip the card. Um, yeah, someone definitely wants to have. Um, a deeper uh, connection with you. Um, somebody who could be very nurturing, loving, or they see you as that or signs, right? Yeah, there's a Ten of Pentacles and there's a King, a King of Cups. Somebody is like emotionally ready to be uh, um, in a relationship with you or you, them, and they're ready to work with you, you know, and, and be supportive towards you with the Three of Pentacles. And they're coming in with a small offer. Like, look, let's just start, um, you know, small and, and, and let it build and let's see how it goes. This is somebody is definitely wanting to grow with you. Right? And they're very patient, too. Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, they're very patient. Um, you know, they, they're willing to take it slow. Okay. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's some for some of you guys, whoever this is, or this could be you, you could be wanting to build something with an Empress, Libra Taurus energy. And again, I saw the King of Swords come out. Um, somebody who you see very powerful. You could be in this energy, or some for some of you, this could be same sex, doesn't have to be, but Empress Energy, King of Pentacles. Yeah, there you are. Empress of the King of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to start something with this person, right? Death to the Rebirth, to the Star. Yep. It's like, but here's the thing, okay? This Empress brings you so much love and wish fulfillment. It's unreal. And so you're going to have to end something um, in order to have uh, something with this empress, right? You know this. Their their star energy here, um, earth signs. And look at y'all show up. Mm -hmm. Strong um, uh, Taurus uh, energy here. Could be any of the signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is y'all, <laughs> King of Pentacles. This is a representation of all of y'all. Five of Wands. There's conflict, though, if you uh, come into union with this person uh, to give them equal give and take. Yep, there it is. You did it. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Definitely could be dealing with the, uh, a strong Libra here. Uh, Libra Taurus. Uh, I mean, sorry, Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. You know that going towards this person um, will bring you equal give and take, right? 
And for some of you guys, you want to sneak away to this person with the Seven of Swords. To the Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Yep. Um, not the King and the Queen. Okay. To have forward movement. So something is changing rapidly. Yeah. With the Tower card here to the Ace of Wands. To the Nine of Cups. It's like, yeah, this is this could literally be the one for y'all. Let's get into some other messages. Uh, this could literally be the one um, for y'all. And you guys have manifested this thing, but for some of you guys, you could have a third party there too. Let me do the love oracle. Let me do the love oracle for you, earth signs. Yeah, it's like... Um, I feel like the conflict, too, is because there is another third party in the energy. Um, that's going to definitely cause some type of conflict if you make this known publicly. Yep, I still have growing to do. Mm. This could be why some of you guys are in indecision. Yeah, or them. Yeah, our story isn't over yet. Yeah, because for some of you, I feel like some of you guys, you're indecisive because... You want to still do you. You still want to entertain. For some of you guys, you could still could want to entertain uh, third-party energies. But here comes this empress coming in your life. Yeah, you're not ready. Uh-huh. And you don't know what to do. But at the same time, I feel like you don't want to lose this empress either. I miss you all. So you could think about this person all the time. You're them. Uh, friends or family disapprove of this connection. Yeah. They would, uh, as the energy I get, there was someone interfering in our relationship. I told you there was a third party. <laughs> Don't play with her. Yep. I told you. Yeah. So there's a third party energy here. This is why you guys are indecisive. And you, but the problem here is, is that whoever this Empress Libra Taurus, Gemini Aquarius energy, uh, could be a strong Libra here. It doesn't have to be, but, um, they some <laughs> whoever this is that's interfering in the relationship, this is just a fling. It's not anybody you would you know for a fact that would be long term, but I feel like they're not ready to give the fling up. Yeah, secrets and deception is here. Yeah, towards the fling, I feel. I have a sexual, I have sexual fantasies about you. Woo! Okay. Please forgive me. Yeah, because someone isn't ready. They're dealing with the fling, a third party energy. You or them, take it out, resonates. Our signs I feel like this is y'all's energy. You are the person of my dreams, exactly. So you guys are out here having flings and doing your thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, I'm not your judge or your jury here. Here's the thing. So you guys have a fling. A, 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 we're calling them the third party. I don't even want to call them a karmic because it's just a, it's a thing. You know, you guys are out here doing your thing with a fling. <laughs> You're like, I did that, y'all. Okay. And um, and here comes this empress. You guys were not expecting this. It's throwing you off kilter. Yeah, for some of you guys, it could be long distance, or you could live a, a live a distance, maybe um, in another state, city. Um, but you may have to travel towards this person. Um, it's just like I feel like I like you. Uh, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Yeah, exactly. And finances are a problem for some of you at this time. But regardless of anything, you want to work this out with this empress. Okay, you do. You want to work this out? I, I feel like I can't give you what you need. Yeah. And so you want this uh, empress to be patient with you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because for some of you guys... You guys could be, you're going to go, or you should, you could be fighting and arguing with a third party. This fling, fights, arguments, conflict. This is the end. I love you and I feel you. Yeah. So for some of you guys, this may or may not work out, but it also depends on how you play your cards in this connection. Took it out. Resonates. Okay. So, um... Just be mindful of the energies again around you. Yeah. So some of you are grown enough to admit that, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not quite ready. 
um, because I'm still out here, you know, having flings and things. But I think, you know, if you really uh, want to be with this empress or you don't want to lose them, one thing I know uh, masculine, divine masculine or feminine will do is um, they'll, they'll get ready because it's like, damn, either they'll get ready or they'll or they'll fumble all together to get out resonates. OK, and, and I don't even want to say fumble in a way like, oh, like, you know, it may not it may not come around, you know, empresses and emperors only come around for a lot of people once in a lifetime. And then if you do end up in a long term committed, committed a relationship um, with a partner, it's usually karmic, right? It's not your true divine soulmate, right? So some of you guys feel like this is your true divine soulmate and you want to take action um, on this situation with, your, with this person who's now entered your life and is showing you all of this beautiful um, energy and love. Yeah, this is why we have the angel of love here. Yeah, you're in the indecision about this angel of love, okay? Rewind the video. Yep, you're definitely in indecision uh, regarding this angel of love. And the crazy part is, it's like you're in indecision, but you manifested this type of love in your life. Mm. Well, I feel like some of you guys will be willing to invest in the connection. Um, King of Pentacles are, are known to invest in uh, long-term uh, connections uh, where there's true stability and the opportunity for growth. Um, I feel like also um, because the Queen of Pentacles came out, this person, whoever this empress is, could also be a boss CEO, doesn't have to be, or somebody who's um, very resourceful. You know, Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. Not only are they loving and nurturing, but um, they're very generous individuals. Um, so some of them could be mothers or they could be very motherly. Check it out. Resonates. Um, when it comes to, um, you know, their connections, uh, whether in business or in love. So take that how it resonates. Uh, love bugs. Yeah, you guys didn't see this coming at all. Um, yeah, because the moon card fell out. It's telling me that this kind of snuck up on you out of nowhere, all right? Let's get the potential outcome for you guys. I am using um, the Real Love Tarot deck here. We do have our own deck, on, on deck, excuse me, on this channel. If you like to um, pre-purchase um, this deck, um, it is available now for $77.77. Uh, with free shipping um, in the United States. Um, it's actually live on Etsy. Um, I was going to make an announcement about this because um, I talked to my manufacturer and um, they were able to um, do um, a production now uh, for the next decks. So um, it is live. Uh, but I'm going to let you, allow you guys to order pre-order uh, for the uh, lower amount. Uh, otherwise, it goes up ten dollars, eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Um, if you purchase on Etsy, um, so yeah, I was really shocked and surprised by that, y'all. So yay! What is your outcome for my Earth signs? What is it? Two of Cups. Oh, there will be a love situation here. Yep, Eight of Cups. Oh. Yeah, romantic love. Walk. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could be walking away from some type of sad, stagnant energy to go towards your ten of pentacles. Yeah, yeah. So whatever connections that you guys are in now, you guys are going to be walking away from that connection to go towards possibly this empress energy. Yeah, ten of wands is the heavy burden because you feel over overwhelmed and stressed in a, a current connection. For some of you guys, not all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest here. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, yeah. Justice, Libra Energy, yeah. So you're going to what serves you best. And you're, yeah, Two of Swords. Yeah, you're making a final decision, to, yeah, to go towards your true love. Yeah, a new love offer, yep. Yeah. Ooh, I, yeah, and you're going to put, a, and when I say you're going to put in the hard work, yeah, you're going to put in the hard work. There you go. You are there traveling. Yep. Knight of Swords. Yep. You're 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 traveling ahead. Yep. Towards true to, to to the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. 
to where you get, you're going to definitely get um, um, a prosperous outcome here overall. Um, whoever this Nine of Pentacles energy is, is um, self-sufficient. Um, again, Libra energy came up on the board. Look at that resonates um, Piscean energy here. I mean, Scorpio, Scorpionic energy here. Yeah, Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, it's like this is, I feel like this is a spiritual union. Yeah, Emperor. Aries energy, look at that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm here for it. Yeah, so you guys are going towards real love, real long-term stability or whatever. You know, you're going to, so basically... The fling is a fling, is a fling, right? It's fun, it's exciting, it's you know, it's a it's a cool connection, but is it long term connection? So this is what you're thinking about here, Earth signs. Is this fling gonna bring me in long term stability? Is this fling going to, uh, if you will, um, bring me in overall happiness and abundance, right? You know, and in order for you guys to be in the energy, you're going to um, definitely um, have to be on the same page here. For some of you, I feel the energy that you may not be on the same page. Yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Yep. So, yeah, so you guys are being bold. <laughs> And you're going to, and this is, you guys want to make this person your wife, queen of cups of the queen of pentacles energy. Yeah. It's just like, you're about to make a power play here and, and, and go towards what's nurturing you. Right. Yeah. Whoever this boss, babe, I can't make it up. Queen of pentacles. Y'all see it's uh, your yeah, boss, babe energy. Yeah. Um, business woman, fertile. out. Yeah. That's where you're going toward queen of cups. Yeah. Four of swords. And the devil. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you you're wanting to rest and rejuvenate and you're obsessing you over this. Yep, <laughs> you're gonna take that leap. <laughs> devil energy, four sources of the devil to the fool. Yeah. Because you guys have been obsessing over this, right? Um think heavily thinking about it. It's like you're lusting over this. Whoever this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy is, it could be anybody in uh, anybody embodying these uh, this energy, um, but they could have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart as well. Yeah, Death, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords. Why is that here? Six of Wands. Oh yeah, you're you're you're. Mm -mm. It's like you're you're getting rid of all the toxicity is what I'm getting here with the seven of wands to the death to the seven of wands to the ten of swords. It's like you're releasing all tox toxicity in your life to go towards your your happiness and to have a prosperous uh, victory here. Yeah, yeah, you're you're releasing all toxic energies around you. Yep, king of swords. Yeah. And there, and let me tell you something. And you doing that? There's gonna be a King of Swords, who's watching and spying on you, who's gonna be heavily, heavily, uh, in their feelings about this. What? Yep. Yeah, don't play with me. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Yeah, Page of Swords to the Three of Swords. They're gonna be watching, stalking, all of those things because you decided to have forward movement with the Two of Wands. Look at you. I said it. King of Pentacles. There you are, okay, love bug. So I'm gonna leave it here, and that's what I have for you, love bugs. Yeah. So whoever this, whoever you guys are going to and leaving behind, they're not gonna be happy about it. In fact, they're gonna, they may put up a big fight for some of you guys. Just be prepared. Yeah, be prepared because for some of you, when you make this move. And they find out who you're making the move to, yeah, or towards, they're going to try to sabotage this connection, right? But you're you're trying to take control of that before it before it ever touches the surface. So 
Good luck to that, love bugs. <laughs> all right. Um, all the information um, for this deck, um, to purchase this deck, is in the description box below. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in, Earth Signs. See you on your next one. Bye.